What is up YouTube? Welcome to Man vs VR and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your hands while playing Steam VR games with your Gear VR or Google Cardboard device. Okay, now here's what you're going to need to achieve this setup. First, you're going to need your smartphone device. One with a 5 GHz AC connection is mostly recommended. Next, you are going to need your Gear VR or your Google Cardboard Ready headset. You'll also need an app called VRidge to pair up with the software called RiftCat. Next thing you are going to need is a Leap Motion device. This device can be found on Amazon for as low as $30 and is worth every penny. And to go with your Leap Motion device, you are going to need a USB 3.0 extension cord simply because the one they give you is just not long enough to be as comfortable as. I would recommend. Um, you don't want any snagging, you don't want anything to pull your lead motion off of your device, and you definitely don't want to unplug it while you're turning your head. So you want to give you something that's going to give you enough 360 range of motion and all that stuff, and that's not that hard to find. Alrighty, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the RiftCat website and download the RiftCat to pair with your V-Ridge on your mobile device. Next thing you want to do is you want to download the VRidge app on your phone. And then after you get everything installed, you should get something that pops up on your screen like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on Play Steam VR Games. And you're going to see this box right here pop up. And as you see, there's no controllers activated just yet. After you've plugged everything in, you want to download the Orion Beta. And the Orion Beta is what is going to allow you to take the first step into getting your hands into Steam VR. So what you want to do is you want to come over here. And click on this right here and then you'll see this and you'll want to click on this right here and you'll get this window down here popping up since we already have it we're gonna go ahead and cancel that now this is gonna be a little zip folder and you're going to want to install the exe file in there and that'll get you guys going the next thing you want to do is you want to download the Leap Motion driver. So come down here. The easiest way to do it is to just come down here and click on that. And then you'll see that. And then you'll see Steam Driver Leap Alpha. You'll click on that. And you will now have this down there. We've already got that. So I'm going to cancel that. Same thing as the last one. Just install the application when you open it. And that's it and you will be good to go there's really not much to this which is great about it so well, once you get these downloaded you're pretty much gonna be ready to hook it up to your headset and play so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that alrighty so what you want to do is you want to plug in your USB cord and then you want to plug it into your lead motion device as you see the green light comes on on the bottom and right now to keep mine on I'm using velcro on the faceplate and you just attach it as so and as you see it'll be like that make sure this is nice and wiped off because you don't want any type of smudges on there everything that could possibly block it will block it alright so now what you want to do is you want to take your mobile phone and put it into your VR ready device which is going to be my gear VR of course then put your faceplate on or whatever you have on your device you got that and then you want to then attach your leap motion onto the thing now you should see these three lights they're actually red on my on my point of view but they're white for you so after you put it on you put your hands in front of you and you should see your controllers so as you see if I squeeze the triggers the triggers then squeeze on there you've got your thumb on the touchpad you've got your grips this is your dashboard signal there it goes so you do that boom you've got your little stuff right there and then you do timeout and everything so it really does work and it really is pretty sweet it's definitely one of the cooler things I've experienced in VR you know just being something so simple which at the same time so immersive like it's just really cool you hold your hands like this, so that way, you know, if you're, cause you're going like this, your thumb, your thumb is going to be on your touchpad, stuff like that. I will have a link that shows you the instructions on every hand gesture available. Do not worry. You guys will definitely be able to look into that yourself. And, you know, we'll see how much fun you guys are having. As you see, your hands are right there. It tells you your left hand, right hand on the controllers. 
So that right there guys is how you get your hands involved when using your Gear VR or Google Cardboard Ready device. Huge props to everybody involved who's gotten all this software together to you know, make it happen. The goal here is to make VR reachable and I have to say right now we are kicking VR's butt. You know we played PC games in VR with a mobile device. You know with, with, I think it was like overall if you included everything in PC games in VR I think it was about 180 bucks. Um, and then you know this is you know 100 bucks for the Gear VR, 30 bucks for the Leap Motion, and then 20 bucks for the app. So even cheaper, and you're playing VR games. It's amazing. It's awesome. I'm so happy. You know, there's so much more coming. Like I said, next we're gonna do positional tracking, and then we're actually gonna work on getting actual VR controllers, uh, trackable VR controllers. You know, we're gonna try that. That's the next step right there. So so much has happened, and so much is going on. And uh, you know, just signed a contract on the house today. Um, it's gonna be a bit because you know we're building our rooms and everything like that. So. A lot of good stuff coming up more news on that later on down the road um, but anyway guys go ahead and enjoy using this setup um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know get out of here give me some grub but anyway guys take it easy peace